This week, the Environmental Working Group released its annual Dirty Dozen list, touting that organic produce is what consumers should eat and shun away from conventionally produced fruits and vegetables. Teresa Thorne is a spokesperson for the Alliance of Food and Farming, a nonprofit organization which exists to deliver credible information to consumers about the safety of fruits and vegetables. Thorne said the Environmental Working Group's tactic is to scare consumers. Well, and again, we we strongly believe that organic food is very safe, but we maintain the same thing for conventional. And Thorne said it was interesting that a recent study that focused on Manhattan, where researchers showed that organic produce was not so readily available for consumers as they had previously thought. And so what happens to the mom who wants to buy, you know, strawberries for their child's lunch and then finds out only conventional is available. Well, now she's scared because of what EWG has stated in really inflammatory language this year, over the top. And now what she's supposed to do, her store doesn't carry organic strawberries. Conventionally grown still is the most accessible and affordable. And so to scare people away from that, really just does a disservice to consumers. And when the California Department of Food and Agriculture regularly tests produce being sold in the market, and even the USDA inspectors are testing as well, and the scientists have found that 99.9% of the produce have either no detectable residue, or if it is present, it is well within the range of safety for both organically and conventionally grown produce. Teresa Thorne. Absolutely. And these government studies, and that's what's also interesting. EWG, and we've called them on this in the past, and they still have not changed. They do not link in their report directly to the USDA study. Now, they go through and state over and over that they base their results on this USDA pesticide data program, but they don't link to it. In what world don't you link anymore to a study that you basically state you base your entire dirty dozen list upon? And so we find that quite, quite odd. But we think the reason is that they don't link is this simple because people will see that the USDA clearly states that residues do not pose a food safety concern and that is in direct contrast to what they're saying. And of course experts recommend that food safety starts in the kitchen and just simply washing the produce before you consume it can do a lot of good. That's right. Conventional and organic alike, you know, wash them before you eat them. It's a helpful habit that everybody should follow for various reasons. And, and yes, if there are residues present, FDA clearly states that you can reduce or eliminate any residues that may be present on fruits and vegetables simply by washing.